I think the vision for Juno, I think that what we're building here is like an incubator for the interchain. And the real opportunity we have, and I think the real strength of this community, is becoming the strongest DAO in Cosmos. Um, and that is something that has a lot of staying power. Contracts are open source. Code is open source. Community is the moat. And with, with sub DAOs, you know, and with the larger Juno DAO, that's the really exciting opportunity that we have. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Zen Lounge. I have an exciting episode planned for you guys today. Today, I'm going to be talking about Juno Network. There are some exciting things happening in the Juno Network community, including if you've been staking your Juno tokens, you definitely want to watch this video because I'm going to teach you how to claim a fun airdrop that's happening in the community. First, there's probably a lot of people wondering what is Juno Network. So let's start with the introduction. Juno is interoperable smart contract network in the cosmos. Juno is a global open source permissionless network for decentralized interoperable applications. Anyone can create and use interchain applications on Juno. The ecosystem is pioneering Cosmos in development and adoption, allowing developers to deploy secure and robust interchain smart contracts in Rust. The Juno proof of stake blockchain is built using the Cosmos SDK and reaches network agreement via Tendermint consensus. The network is governed by delegators who vote in changes via on-chain governance on network process. All network processes are fueled by Juno token, the native asset of the network. Juno had its decentralized network launch on the 1st of October, 2021. Cosm Walls and smart contracts went live on December 15th, 2021. So one of the reasons I talk about this project, you guys know me, I'm a really big fan of grassroots projects and community driven projects. A big fan of projects that have been airdropped. For some reason, I have this intuition that the airdrop projects are probably going to be safe from regulations when those moments happen. Uh, however, this channel is not about financial advice, purely research. So what's important is Juno originates and evolves from a community-driven initiative prompted by dozens of developers, validators, and delegators in the Cosmos ecosystem. The shared vision is preserve the neutrality, performance, and reliability of the Cosmos hub and offload smart contract development deployment to a dedicated sister hub. So Juno is branded basically out of a, a goddess. So this is the sister hub to the Cosmos hub is how some people talk about Juno. Um, some of the following principles center around conception of the world's first permissionless a designated interoperable smart contract network. One of their main missions is pioneering Cosm Wasm development adoption. If you know me in this channel, I'm a big fan of the L1s that are building with Cosm Wasm. Eliminating common smart contract L1 bottlenecks like poor scalability, non-interoperability, high fees, concentrated governance control. So also sister hub to the Cosmos hub, preserving the neutrality of the hub by offloading smart contract usage congestion to a designated contract zone. Governance by Adam stakers, which become Juno stakers, the stake drop where 47% of the Genesis supply goes to Adam stakers on a one-to-one -one basis. That was the airdrop. And eliminating, just what I brought up earlier, eliminating potential legal limitations. Juno has and will not conduct any form of seed sale, private sale, or public sale. All Juno entered circulation via the decentralized network launch on October 1st, 2021. So that was an important point that I brought up about uh, regulations. So, you know, it's been a bear market. So prices and everything with projects, Cryptopedia says Juno is not dead guys. It's still the front runner of cause and Wasm, has vibrant devs and still has a path to the interchain vision. And that was quoting the new upgrade. So there's a big upgrade happening. They're saying it's massive for Juno. So they're adding a fee share model. 50% of contract fees go to contract developers. They're adding a token factory model for native token minting and sending without the hassle of CW20 specs. So CW20s are basically like ERC20s. Uh, that's what you use with the e, uh, EVM. Cosm Wasm tokens are CW20 CW, uh, tokens. They're also adding an Oracle module. It helps DeFi modules bring up-to-date external pricing data for contract devs to query and use in their products, a global fee module 
The biggest thing I'm excited about is Interchain account host. Juno will now be Interchain host and controller. This means the chain will now listen for IBC packets from controller chain, which will uh, basically uh, that Interchain account wishes to execute. So the Interchain account is supposed to be really big and that's gonna be part of this upgrade. But next let's move on. We can look at the ecosystem. It's been growing and expanding. So this is the Juno ecosystem of lots of projects that have been uh, deploying on Juno network. So uh, this is an exciting project, but what's happening right now also has been listed on some big exchanges. So Kraken listed it, Uphold listed it. So it's been listed on some big exchanges. This just happened this year, January 12th, 2023, Uphold listed Juno. So it's been gaining a lot of traction, but one of their flagship products, I believe is Dow Dow. So Dow Dow has a fun game that just launched. It's called the Dow Games. Two rival DAOs have been created, red and blue. Which will have the stronger community remains to be seen. The tokens for these DAOs have been airdropped to Juno stakers. Roughly half have gotten red and the other half have gotten blue. If you had at least one Juno stake on block, uh, then you're gonna be part of the DAO game. So you should choose to participate in this experiment. It's up to the red and blue DAO to determine their identities, culture, and how they want to bring the most value to holders. Both DAOs are inactive and will remain so until 4.2% holders have staked their token. So the first step is come together and organize as a community. Once active, they could take advantage of all the new DAO DAO V2 features. So what you're gonna do, if you've been staking Juno for a while, you're gonna go to juno.tools slash airdrops. And you're gonna see if you received red tokens or if you received blue tokens, this is what it looks like right here. Where is it? So blue DAO, red DAO. So you're gonna get basically on a team. The next steps will be, uh, the first step is to claim your tokens. The next step is to uh, stake your tokens to uh, DAO DAO. So if you're red, you go to the red DAO, all this will be in the description below. Uh, if you're blue, you go to the blue DAO and you st stake your tokens to the DAO. Uh, there are a lot of these, like, for example, Jack just put up a proposal. I'm on team blue. I'm on team blue, everybody. But Jack just put up a proposal. So there's different proposals. Once you stake to Dow Dow, it's going to give you voting power. And you're able to vote on different proposals to help basically bring utility value to uh, your team. It's going to be a fun experiment and a fun way to grow the Juno community. We also have a Discord for Red Discord, Blue Discord. I'm in the Blue Discord. We can hang out. So Dow Dow says, what will happen? Who knows? Should the Dow thrives, they're welcome to propose token swaps with the Dow Dow. A reminder, this, should, this game should be fun. Treat people kindly and learn through the play. So if you're on Twitter, you probably see people making all types of fun memes. And finally, so I've received countless airdrops for staking Juno. So this will be one of many airdrops that I've received. But if you want to be eligible for future DAO games, simply stake Juno and participate in the community. So there's gonna be more of these DAO games and more of these community building things with uh, in the Juno e ecosystem. So if you wanna be involved and receive airdrops like this, uh, definitely, uh, get some Juno and stake in a Kepler wallet. I have some videos talking about that. So this is what it looks like. Dow Dow, I think is gonna be huge. So one of the cool things I've heard about Dow Dow is it's all open source. And because it's all open source, they've been able to attract some high level developers to work on this project. Like people that make $700,000 a year at Google uh, volunteer their time because they think Dow Dow is a really cool, innovative idea and uh, they're fans of decentralization and they like basically help like develop this project so i think dow dow is going to be really the flagship product of juno it's gaining a lot of traction so what side are you on if you've ever staking are you team red are you team blue leave it in the comment section below i'm having fun with this i feel like this is like the beginning of a juno rebirth um, it was really quiet for a long time but i trust it the Juno vision, I kept seeing more and more projects building, building, building. And now the community is at like peak level again. And I think we're going to be witnessing a Juno network rebirth. I think it has some of the best tokenomics in the cosmos. Juno token has some of the best tokenomics definitely in the cosmos. My personal opinion, not financial advice, 
And I really believe in this Dow Dow. It's a Dow that builds Dow tooling. And I see more and more people use it. They just upgraded their feature. You can even basically run a, a validator that's run by a Dow. So here's some of the new features of the Dow Dow. So Dow Dow V2 enables many powerful new features, including sub DAOs, NFTs, and powerful no code actions that allow non technical people to get the most out of the interchain. These features allow us to build the first for the Cosmos, a validator run by a DAO. So that's really cool. That's really cool. So uh, I know a lot of people that follow my channel are really into actually getting their hands on Web3 and building. Uh, a lot of people like making NFTs. Well, DAO, DAO, you could also create your DAO, very simple. So you could go to DAO, DAO, the whole brand is, let me see if I could pull it up, DAOs for everyone. So you go to DAO, DAO dot zone. you could build your own a DAO off of Juno Network. There's hundreds of DAOs already uh, being created off of uh, this platform. I don't talk about Juno that much. There's some amazing content creators like Crypto Cito, um, Confident in Crypto, uh, even Don Kryptonium that talk about Juno on a regular basis. They're much smarter than me, uh, but I'm a fan of the grassroots community. I'm excited to be a part of the blue team. Let me know if you're part of the blue team. And uh, I think next bull cycle, uh, this product has great potential. Everybody have an awesome day and thank you for coming to my channel. Please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe and leave some positive comments. Later, peace.